Hello, this is uh, Roland from ePlan. And uh, today, very quickly, just want to jump in on a small topic I found and that you will be probably interested in uh, in a very, very short period of time. So, of course, if uh, we look at this uh, when you sign in, when you join uh, here, uh, you know that you get access to your ePlan Cloud. And what is new on the ePlan Cloud or will be really new, uh, most likely as I release this video here, is the version 2026. You've probably heard about it. It's just now where to find it. Of course, if you go to your website, ePlan.com, and this is where we have our eView, eManage, everything that's out there on the cloud, the data portal, and so many other things. There's, of course, a small section that we often jump over, and it's actually the um, information about the uh, new version. And you can find it here very quickly, Installation Guide 2026. You can just actually skip it or go to the guide, and right in there, you will find the information for your installation 2026 in that installation guide. And of course, all I can say is once you pick which version you go for, just follow here the information and go directly here onto the download section. Uh, you will see here the download section in the download software. And this is where you should find the software itself. Really a cool feature you don't have to really look around anymore it's right there so please just download it once you download it of course it will reside into in a zip file which you will unzip and this is where you get your setup i recommend you start this simply here with the here you simply have to do this for version 2026 no need to update your elm at this point in time um, it just runs fine on the previous ELM. So just run the installation as is. It most likely recognizes your company name, in this case, ePlan CA for me, myself. The language you actually pick here, make sure that you pick the language that actually defines how the subfolders will be named, like forms. If you prefer the French version, just go with Formulaire and set it up to French, and then run the install. And in this install here, you can see all the different things that will and gets installed you just click go ahead in my case i just have it installed and it actually does install as always an icon and this icon on your basically on your desktop will then start the software typically if you have eplan installed from a previous version it will have a small one time question about taking over the settings. I recommend you do take over the settings from your previous version, it makes it a lot easier. And then it just starts. This was Roland from ePlan helping you or trying to help you install that new version, which is just as easy as clicking on the setup.exe and just follow up and start it up. And that's it. That's all. Easy. Thank you. This was Roland.